All right, I've got the cell up to almost 18 amps. It varies between high 16s and a almost 18, which to get six inch cells up that high um, is kind of tricky. I actually move the terminal jumpers in quite a few and increase the e-light concentration pretty strong. And that's the nice thing about having the tabs on is you can reconfigure and increase your amp draw. Uh, my efficiency is suffering a little bit, I'm sure, but it should be enough to get a good run on the generator. Um, one thing I found out about the generator last night is, let's see, where is it? I had to drill and tap. Oh, where'd it go? Right here. And I have to seal that. That hole right in there is the carburetor bowl vent. And I was losing HHO out of it, so I wasn't getting a hole 100%, which is one of the reasons why it wasn't running as well as I would have liked it to have to seen it. So we're going to give it another go. I'm going to go ahead and throw a screw in there. If I can get this thing into the base. Oh, wrong direction, I guess. Let's go. No, that's all right. There it goes. Just being difficult. And I'm going to seal that thing up real fast. I'm going to see what kind of a run we can get out of it now. I'm still using the sealed carburetor method, drafting through the crankcase. I know it's going to restrict airflow quite a bit. Um, I'm just curious to see what happens. This is not the, the end goal of where we want to be. It's a different design, but I've just wanted to try this to see how it reacts, how well it works, if it does work, and uh, things like that. Constantly messing around with stuff. So, let's set the mic down and we'll seal this thing up and see if we can give it a go. All right, so it's sealed. I'm gonna go get my starter motor, <laughs> AKA my Milwaukee drill, and uh, we'll give this thing a crank. generator in the off position, turn off my bypass, and I hear lots of fluid kind of air coming out.
back down. 